There we go. Oh, hi everyone, welcome aboard. I'll be your Captain Hillian tonight, along with... Hey, it's a mighty Lieutenant Rakir at your service. And welcome back for <laughs> Dave the Diver again, which is starting to creep on 20 episodes so far. And <laughs> I had to double check this. I had to double check this for, uh, um... 
Oh. Uh. Okay. I do get the feeling we are starting to we are starting to close in on the towards the end of the game. But I get the feeling there's probably at least two more chapters to go or so, since we're in chapter six. And oh, yeah. Gods. Peace we've, got right. a, we've got a cucumber event coming up. And we have a missing beluga to find as well. Okay, last time we had another Challenge the Chef episode and we got a cocktail uh, mixer for that. And apparently sake-based cocktails is an actual thing. <laughs> Mochi. Okay. Oh. Mm. Uh, yeah. Oh, hello. Uh, he's at work with this uh, plant. Uh, yeah, all of our chickens in a row almost down there. Okay, I think we have to leave this be for a bit so, to let the nutrients build up because uh, I've not really mentioned too much of it, I think, but every time we've uh, picked weeds out, the nutrient bars go uh, go up. So I'm guessing for maximum um, for maximum gain, we need to try and keep that in the green. Hello, cucumber seeds. Yeah, let's go buy some of those. We can plant those in the new bit here, once he is done with that. And I do Nutrient. think we have all the chickens. Nutrient bars. Yeah, the, <laughs> on the, the signs. Yeah, but I think you know what I'm hinting at. Yeah. <laughs> I think that is something else already called that. Okay. I am thinking about possibly doing a bit of off-screen work to catch some of the fish that we don't have breeding pairs for. But to just do that, or try to do that in one slice of a day, that should avoid anything major from being uh, missed. But I'll yeah, I'll record it all the same. Yeah, actually, I think the many times we've been surprised by an event out of nowhere. Hmm. Now, most of the time we have had all the stuff we've needed for stuff. But yeah, it's not really a... You're not able, really able to tell if something new is going to pop up based on the days and such. Yeah, so again, the, I like this game. But surprisingly, this is a game you can't off-screen grind at. Not without missing story content of some uh, okay. kind. Yeah, without missing a possible story content. Yeah, uh, like the odds are high. Okay, I think we're just going to take the hush darts and we're going to try and get the giant travales so we can get the skins. Or not the skins, the fins. Um, because we really do need to upgrade our weapons quite a lot for them to be useful in the new areas. So, we're going to do a morning dive here and, yep, go look for giant travales. It's, yeah... A rate of one centimeter a year. Okay, so that if you find a big one of those, then it's really freaking ancient. Yeah, a uh, one with fifty. I'm pretty sure they can get older. But like, I think the record uh, record holder is about three hundred or something. Uh, uh, let's see, Marlin, Pink Dolphin. <laughs> Where is? Okay, we're still missing a ray here. Let's see, I think they were around this region. Harlequin Hind, Giant Barracuda, Tiger Shark, Anglerfish, oh, Big Eye Trevale. Hmm. So am I just overlooking it? This does go a little bit quick since it's using the right stick instead of like the. Oh, that also works apparently. Never mind. Uh, we also need two now still for breeding pairs. And I probably should have checked with Cobra to see if he had if he has any uh, net gun or net net bombs. Okay, where are there? They are giant Travale. Okay, about fifty to one thirty meters deep. Okay. 
And yeah, I'm bringing the harsh gun or the tranquilizer gun, whatever its actual name is supposed to be, because, well, it's when we bring them in alive, it has the biggest chance of dropping extras. I also think we need extra as more of these. That just looks a bit weird with how it flaps its, <laughs> its fins. It looked like more if, like it was. It looked like, more like it had wings of a sort. Uh, not taking that. Um, idiom. It is called a bat fish. Okay, that explains, yeah. Okay. Bad air. No time to mess with white tip sharks. Okay. That was the sound of something big spawning. Question is, what spawns? Okay, yeah, it's warm today. I almost shug the water. <laughs> yeah, I, I have... Oop. I have my, uh, let's see, how much is there actually in this? 1.5 liter bottle filled with water to the, <laughs> practically to the top. And it's 30 freaking degrees in here. Holy! So, yeah. Okay. I'm trying to, I'm not, I'm, yeah, I'm not going to pick fights with sharks at the moment. Since I just want the Trivalis. Oh, there's the limestone cave, I think. Well, and... Uh, almost said shark weed, but the, the, the storm shark pot is over. Yep. So we don't need to focus on them as much anymore? Nope. I, still, all we I'm need to focus on is the uh, cucumbers. And yeah, that's just going to grow on its own. Yeah, I was a bit pissed that we didn't get more from it, but again, it probably would have to get more if we didn't... Again, as a broken record, trip on the finish line on the first uh, day. Yeah, with uh, cloud, the, the Klaus omelette that needed grade A... <clears throat> yeah, grade A eggs, which we didn't have enough of. Oh, that too, I, just, I meant that when you were so close to the surface, then you died. Yeah. That one was uh, just pain. Let's see. Where are the Trevales? Trevales have... I forget. I believe this is a dead end. Yep, but there is something here, so at least we can grab that. Okay, that's useful. Plus, we can always use some resources, even if just to sell them. And yeah, we have we have so much lead ore. And if um, if the sea people work you know, shop will take it, it'll make a good uh, yeah, it'll make a good amount of coin with them. Since with some things we just have so freaking much. Yeah. In a good way. Just going to grab that. Two wasted shots, but oh well. Okay. Some iron, which we're short on. Oop. Oh wait, did you wear that amulet? I think, yeah. So we are getting a bit extra. We're getting at least two on one hits with those. Oh, hello. Okay. Nice. If we start an argument with a uh, shark, we can drop those behind us. Pardon? Let's see. Okay, good thing I got out of the stream before <laughs> it got to those. Pardon? No idea how low that was. Uh, it was hurt. Up oh, there we go. There's our targets. Again, I start to shock in the water because apparently my body is very thirsty. There we go. Are there any more of those around? There's the tiger shark and the barracuda. Let's... 
you noticed us. Let's go ahead and grab you. And just stay away <laughs> from the tiger shark. It is going to lose interest sooner or later. It Ow. <laughs> before tail whipping us. Okay. Uh, yeah, this is actually pretty good because there's typically a few, or there, there have been a few giant frivolis in this spot. See if we get lucky with that again. Doesn't actually look like it, but at least there's a passageway here. Or is this a dead end? Yeah, dead end. Oh well. <laughs> Just grab what we can and move on. Okay. Tranquilizer harpoon tip might be good with getting some extra live fish without using the darts. Since we're not returning here, anyways. Okay. We could take a look underneath the boat. Since there's typically been a few things there. I don't remember if we have a breeding pair of these red ones here. Next, let's see. White shrimp, sailfish... Uh, uh, gray triggerfish we need a breeding pair of. So if we see... Oh, there they are. Okay, with some luck we will get some row from this. If not, we'll just have to catch another one another time. Too close. Give me that. Okay. Hmm. There you go. There's a few more up there. <clears throat> okay. But are there more giant trevales around? Because that's the main thing I want at the moment. So anything else? Oh. All right for the upgrades. Yeah. Okay. Leg bone. And now I'm not going to sing that damn bone song. I had no idea how it goes. And then there's also the Monkey Island 2 version of it, which is randomized, I believe. Yeah. Also, I learned something recently about Monkey Island. All right, you said this a while back to me. Oh, uh, no, no. A different fact today. Okay. Apparently, it's. Monkey Island is apparently part of a ship. Okay. I just forgot which dick it is. Because one of the dicks is called Monkey Island, apparently. Uh, best guess I would have would be one of the side bits or something. I think it's where you have a special thing that used to be inside the ship, but the outside book was called... It, it, it has two balls on each side, one red and green. I think it's meant to balance the ship and work as a compass or something. Okay. I, I, I think I fell asleep during that part. It might be something to do with the uh, cargo system or something. Okay, should have expected that wouldn't do anything, but it was worth a try. Yeah. I guess Monkey Island is the deck that is also put on quote the roof of the captain the, the navigation area. Maybe. Uh, could just be Googled to find out what it is and isn't. Yeah, I was have to look up that video again. Hammerhead Shark. Uh, there is a giant Trevale, but it's got two bodyguards. Uh, three bodyguards. Hammerer, Fencer, and Biter. Again, a hammerhead yeah. will not do that with their head as a hammer. Yeah. Now, quickly. Okay. What? Okay. <laughs> If we had another, if we had another visit from the drone, that would have been an easy catch. But oh well, we got what we needed, so let's get out of here. <laughs> B 
Bye bye. It'd be nice if they could find each other at times. Never mind the oxygen then. He actually knocked himself out. I feel like, like the Sulfi should be able to impale a wall or something and get stopped for a moment. Okay, we need a second of these little guys. Okay. Oh? Uh, anything else in the immediate? Yeah, the Ray. Tuna. Zebra Shark. Thrasher Shark. Sea Goldie. Okay. Does the look goldy to me? And Ornate Rass. Okay, so Ornate Rass and the yellow thing. Orange Batfish. Obicular okay, just a bunch of shark. Fish. Okay. I'll have to try and remember those as we continue to look around. Yeah, let me say this. I will applaud the developers for actually skipping out on a mega boss. But, so uh, far. Also Klaus shadowy icon. I thought he was to be the Meg. But they added no. a little... Oh, you're gone. Uh, we don't know if there is a Megalodon yet, because there's still a few more areas that could be unlocked. True. But we do know there will be some prehistoric, uh, three prehistoric ones. Hmm. At least I can, that I can confirm from what we saw the last time on the shadowy uh, pictures. Yeah. Wrong one. Uh, let's see. Are those that? No, there's something different. Um. Ah, heck, let's catch a few of these. We there's an ammo box nearby anyways. Plus, this will increase the chance that we'll actually get row from these ones. There. Okay, we'll just grab ammo from that. No, not ammo. Oxygen from that box. Okay. Grab this one. Get some of this. So far, it seems that you only get double on the F on the first hit. But maybe it is just a chance thing. It would be peaked if it's just a chance. Or yeah, only on the first. Mm. If, if it's only plus one, then it's kind of, um, yeah, and not really too worth it, perhaps. And let's, well, with some things, it's pretty rare to get them. Like the iron ore isn't always around, so having four from each node instead of three is a bit of a boost, but not a giant boost. Yeah. Hello? As in games where they do do spruits, by the end you end up doing some of these games, you just ignore them for the boost on the start things are so minimal, you just feel like, why should I waste three hours grinding for this, but it only does that little amount? Yeah. Like, some games, but it's in percentage, depending on how you use the percentage, it can be worth 10% or 5% can be worthwhile. Spend three hours for grinding. Especially if but things can stack. Yeah, but it depends on how things are used. Like, is it 5% more you'll be given? Or just 5% bigger chance to get it? I couldn't tell if there was an extra one the there. Here. Sorry, what? I, I couldn't tell if we got a double on that uh, node. I see you there. Mm. And yeah, you see, the, you, you heard my example, like, 5% more every time of something, or you have 5% better chance of getting double. Yeah. That's what I mean with the... You have to really read what, what kind of percentage it is, in what context. So, for... At that twelve percent, you listen to us. If you're gonna use a system like this here, make sure it's worthwhile. Like it doesn't need to be OP, 
but it still needs to feel worth it. Okay. Ornates, orange batfish, sea goldies. I don't think these are sea goldies. They are uh, red. Sea goldies. Cardinal. I think the sea goldies are the smallest ones. Uh, that is one easy way to find out. I was just you had one there. I was about to read. Yep, yep. Okay, I thought these were smaller. Okay. Yep, miss. There you go. Would, fail, fail. would be a lot easier with a net gun with this. I also get a lot more in one shot, possibly, but oh well. Now that's probably gotten us one of those. What are these? Other than missed uh, comers okay we haven't we haven't caught any of those before okay he's comber a comber or whatever yeah please don't stop calling them coomers uh, maybe the cucumbers might like them if they call them that you don't know what a coomer is do you I've got a decent idea, but yeah. Let's just keep fishing. Yeah, and stay away hmm. from loot. Uh, I don't think that's going to do much with that. Okay. Wait, oh, it expanded the magazine, I think. I thought it had... I thought I'd switch back to this thing, but it's, then it's a good thing that we likely got new ammo for it. Because <laughs> that would have been the last shot that I had. Mm. Uh. Pick it up. There. I think even if we have the tranquilizer, Dar uh, harpoon tip that if we just instant kill them it counts as a, a two star anyways because they are not put to sleep instantly unless uh, actually uh, I believe if it just instantly knocks them out then it bounces off so I might be misunderstanding a bit here or forgetting things Need to uh, leave that here. So, oh, we need some of you. Yep. Also, what I need is better aim. Come on. Grab you as well, and might as well. This. There. Of course, just a narrow miss again. Okay. And then I think we should have most all of the known fish in with breeding pairs. Again, it oh, mother f oh. Let's See how you like that. Okay, that doesn't tranquilize enough. Okay. That tranquilizes enough. Oh, we can't. Okay, that got it to back off a bit. There we go. Okay. Stingray. Wait, didn't we get that before? Apparently not, but we we've got we've got one of them swimming around in our tank though, or is that Oh no, that's the electric ray. This is the other stingray. The one where it was cranked out. One. Yeah. Okay. No well, <laughs> lucky little find then. You probably came with a puncture hole or two in the suit. 
Yes. Be glad he didn't puncture your heart with that uh, venom or toxin yeah. or whatever it has. Uh, probably a venom. I believe it's just the other one that gives an electric shock. There. It, it, it does that and poison, if I remember right. There. Is this kind of kill? Yeah. But better overkill than no kill and no foods in the well, animal kingdom. Yeah, and let's remember, they are from South Africa and Australia. There we go, nailed it. So, was it an electric one or regular one that uh, claimed Steve Irving? I don't know. I can only recall he was not only stoner, but it, it aimed for his chest. Uh, it got it by chance. It got him in the chest, I believe it was. And that, yeah. if it hit him anywhere else, it would have been non-lethal. Probably painful as all hell, but non-lethal. Yeah, look, it could be lethal if he didn't get the hospital help right away. But yeah. Maybe rest in peace, like... I yeah, just a lot shit about luck. Him. I was, uh, as a kid, I watched a lot of, about him. Or I uh, watched his show a lot. He was... He was... Uh, I didn't know him by name. We just called him Crocodile Guy. <laughs> yeah, Jake. We, was, we were too young to really pay attention to celebrity names. But yeah, we really liked him. So a few years later, when I got to hear about uh, what happened, I was actually sad. Yeah. Steve Irwin was just a good guy. Yeah. At least the, the, his shield, uh, children are following his footsteps. Yeah. I mean, not as famous as him, but they are also doing good things uh, here. <laughs> At random ambush. I swear, I think we are developing a grudge against these ones. Okay, I could have gone on longer there, but I think we might have had a good enough haul with that. Plus, we were uh, reaching the limits. Give me a moment here. Better luck next time, make you bastard! <laughs> uh, For a okay. moment, I thought history was to repeat itself there. <laughs> okay. Let's see, Barracuda Row, Painted Comber, Shrimp, Big Eye Travale Row, okay, we haven't gotten that before, we've got double of those now. And, hey Pizza Lover, are you doing well today? Hi Pizza Lover, I'm doing well, aren't you about the uh, captain? Combo row. got that, Stingray Row, okay. Is there, did I ask how you were today, even today, Helium? Uh, not sure, but, well, we're both in the heat, so it's both at decent at best, I'd say. Yeah. And, and that is good to hear, Pizza. Let's see. Actually, just beaten Dark Soul for the fourth time. Okay. Oh, you poor thing. Okay, clean, vaccinate. Congrats on the hug, yeah, that Pizza. Congrats on the hug. Discipline. Oh, not memories. Uh, and yeah, sorry for the big thought about. I feel like I actually started to really dislike the Baker Sharks. Yeah. <laughs> okay, enough of that. Let's see. We need, to, some we need to keep some money for the resistance suits. And let's oh, yeah. Yeah, it's also like midnight here, so just wanted to say hi and pop in and say hi. Okay. Hello, and may you sleep pleasantly. I have a wonderful dreams. Okay, we've got the, the fins needed for the rifle. <clears throat> so yeah. <clears throat> now we just need fragments. Okay. Lost my voice from over there. Now we could upgrade the harsh darts, but I 
I'd rather go for the uh, underwater rifle first, since that's our strongest weapon at the moment. Uh, let's see, Marinka. Let's see. And it looks, yeah, we've got every species in the shallows at the moment. Okay, we just need to get their star. Well, we could get their cards to level three, but I'm not going for 100%. There's let's see, one, two still in the medium depths. So that is about, yeah, 50 to 130. And let's see, none missing in the depths. The glacial passage, but a bunch missing in the glacial zone, uh, wait, wait, and of course wait, 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 wait. all of these go here. Back one, one zone. Let's hmm. take a look at that postcard. Yeah, that's that's totally a giant jellyfish or a tentacruel. That, that has been jellyfish. Then wait, hold on. Oh, I see something else there on the same line next to the other jellyfish. Uh, this. That might be an isopod. Okay. And they are... How to say? Almost big as Inky. Okay. And yes, people eat them. I've seen a video about it. Let's see. Hmm. When we go back to the restaurant, I'm going to check something if we can see how much it costs to pay each of the different uh, staff members. So we can basically... We can do a bit of a check on how much they cost per their uh, procurement. I, I, I don't care how much the currently serving and cooking ones uh, take for salary, but the other ones, uh, yeah, I think since they, they're more of a replaceable, simply said. Okay. Wait, 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 actively working the restaurant, the ones we send out for procure and such. I'm going to want it I'm going to see uh, I'm going to look if we can see how much each of them takes as a salary and then compare that to their uh, <clears throat> to their procurement skill and then determine yeah who's the weakest link and likely get rid of them and maybe get someone else instead with a better range. Uh let's see. Uh, I think we can go make progress in the glacial area. Uh, boat skin? Uh, really? <laughs> okay. I, I'll stick with this one. Uh, keeping that, keeping that. Uh, harsh dart, harsh dart for the... Hmm. Let's go with the net gun. So we can get the most... Uh, life captures in the glacial zone, but first we're heading to the village. <clears throat> okay, crops have grown. Let's go visit Mima. Okay. There, dumplings. And yeah, just. There's just no reason not to get one of the ones with movement speed. Because, yeah, movement speed is often underestimated in how good it can be for survival. If, if you can literally run circles around your enemies, then they're not going to get a good hit on you. Yeah. It wasn't good. Uh, give, get, did it give you enough speed to do in clouds, though? Okay. I'm going to guess that the Beluga is actually in the glacial zone, not in the glacial passage itself. Actually, we might... Yeah, we could take a, yeah, we could take a peek into the glacial passage just to catch some extras there for, uh, yeah, breeding pairs, so we don't have to go in there again. Okay. Oh, what a good idea. Now, if we... Okay, you take... Mm -hmm. Let's see, what do we have an absolute... 
Well, we have an absolute ton of that. Okay. Yeah, we're probably going to have to start trading some of these in to buy extra materials for our, well, our, at the moment, final tier uh, weaponry. Because I get the feeling it's going to be pricey. Uh, and wait, I just noticed something over there. Oh? Yeah, buddy, workshop. Okay. Give me a sec. Sea grape. Hime. Help. And let's see. That'd be black coral. Might as well open that up. And let's see. What's there to see then? Uh, do you see a water wheel? Yeah. Where are we? Yeah, it, it's just uh, the heavy water, the brine or whatever. It... Yeah, but you, you do see the... Irony? Yeah. <laughs> like, it, you, you don't expect a water wheel being used underwater to like that. Yeah. Okay. Let's hand in these, or let's register these. Oh, yeah, that is a fast one. Okay, all of these go in, and let's do one race, let's put our new speedster to the test, let's see, 103, okay, just a bit faster, but I think we should be able to do this. This is a loss, but it is a close one. Too bad we don't get anything for second place. But still, if we find that if we <clears throat> if we get a good day with that one, then we will def that then it, it will definitely be a win or one that will definitely win that race. But yeah, tongues getting tied up into knots. Okay. No. Thank you for that mental image of the damn centaurs from Fallout. Okay, <laughs> what led to that? You said the uh, tongue knot. Oh yeah, they because they said like five tongues or something, or five tongue tentacles. Yeah, we probably are many times uh, not together. Yeah. And we both okay. know how my imagination is. It goes quite a lot fast at times. Okay, let's go in here. The haddock is a beautiful fish with a white snow or snow white belly, purple back, and silver gray sides. Okay. Let's see. Yep. Yeah, that one's probably hurt now. Uh, let's. See. Is that a shrimp? Yes, it is. There. Okay. We already have breeders of those. Let's see. Can I... Ooh. There we go. Where will I... Actually, since there's ammo there, it's going to... Catch you as well. Also, I'm over there. Two bits of ammo. Okay, vampire squids. A lot of ammo here. Fun fact: vampire, vampire squids don't drink blood. Yeah. Uh, let's I don't know what they actually are, but I think they are. Pretty harmless or something. Weren't there gulper or pelican eels here as well? Uh, maybe deeper? Possibly. Yeah, right. Okay, Can I catch you in a net? You. No, I can't. Okay. Yep. There we go. Yep. 
Pelican is our... Go. Happy fuel! Oh, we pelican skin eel. Or pelican e eel skin. What does what it mean? Me getting words in the wrong order. There, there. Lombo Cupus. Okay, last shot on vampire the blobfish. Almost read that as Vampire Squad by mistake. Almost did it. Almost. Okay. Let's check down here for anything more. Didn't we take a picture of this already? There's also that... Uh, there's also that other one. Two levels above that we didn't take a picture of or anything. Map in this one, maybe? Or there is another one we need to get? Oh, you suddenly get a bit of speed. Oh, and gotcha both. <laughs> Two for one deal. Okay. Hmm. Not to uh, slander Boncho's uh, cooking skills, but I very much doubt that even he could make blobfish appetizing. Actually, I, I think he... Uh, well, maybe not for me, but maybe for other people. Okay, that collapsed in on itself. Okay. We well, didn't mention about the the textures of most deep sea fish, which probably means people have tried to cook and eat them. Probably. Otherwise, he would not be able to t tell, say they were rather gelatinous. Take these two, and let's see, that big mural should be over this way. Still don't really get why we didn't take a picture of it when we first encountered it. Yeah, it is too. Hmm. And this seems to have reset. I can get more water to drink. Yeah, right, there's Gadon down thirsty. there. I very much doubt that we can catch a Gadon in a net. <laughs> this. Wait. Can we get we that? Not. Or. Hmm. We are not cooking Gadon. We are not. No. <laughs> Too many questions come up if we try that. Okay, it's going to see us, I'm pretty sure. So, there we go. Flashbang the bitch. And get out. Okay. Hmm, yeah, it seems that the entire puzzle has uh, reset. We just drop that. Quickly. And yeah, there we go. Get scooped up. It would make sense that it's reset since, well, <laughs> we didn't we didn't keep the divine you know, fruit here to keep this unmelted. Okay, now there is a photo opportunity here. Okay, Dr. Bacon might like this. There. There's a lot of ammo that you can get in, down here. And I'm guessing they expect you to try and fight the Gadons at the absolute least. Even if it might be useless. Welcome back. Do I wonder if you can 
will they drop some loot or? Uh, probably what? not. Yes. Also, we, since we're in, with water and apple. Since we're supposed to dodge these things as best as possible, giving them something to, well, make it worth hunting them would be a bit counterintuitive, I think. Yeah. Okay. Oh, already filled up on our bag, it seems. Okay, let's head back to here then. Refill our oxygen, and then we go to the mirror and just <clears throat> straight to the glacial zone, and we'll just catch what we can down there. <clears throat> Okay, and yeah, the fact is also a little thing here, the, uh, a little thing that I noticed in the marine car cards, that boss, <laughs> that boss card uh, for the glacial zone, it had the location noted on it already, and it was the second glacial cave. So, yeah, we're going to head into a fight when we do get there. Wait, 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 show me. I can't show it because we can't pull up the phone underwater. So apparently, it's not uh, waterproof. Oh. Oop, brr, it's cold. Oh. Human, your clothes look very warm. You're not getting them. Oh. Why don't you... Oh. No. Go inside and take a look. <laughs> you, you are weaker than you look. Okay, right off the bat. There. Yeah, I really should. I really should have been bringing along uh, the net gun whenever we got to new areas. Yeah. Also, let's check that card you spoke about. See if I can yep. identify it. Yep. I can't open it. I can't open the. Yep. Oh. The phone. That got a good bunch of them. He just got a lose pointy. Okay. Grab those quick. Okay, that'll do, I think. I'm not going to risk dodging the Norwell while slow down. But yeah, this should give us a good amount of breeding fish. Okay. Back to the boat. Okay. And then next time we go... To, oh, hello. Whoa! These are the Sea People Glacial Passage murals. Yeah, I think I captured everything here. There. Hmm. It looks like the legend of when the Sea People discovered the Divine Tree. In the very beginning, the Sea People lived in colonies near the Divine Tree. This is... There must have been a huge earthquake and lava eruption in the deep in ancient times. Hmm. It seems that this is when the sea people suffered significant losses. This one in the, lower, in the mural looks like King Long. I read that mutated sea people were imprisoned by him. This must be that scene. Okay, so that was a bit of a hidden quest? Or one that I didn't track or something? So there was a reason of, for why the sea people were sensitive to earthquakes and rising temperatures. So we can't rule out the possibility of a catastrophe happening at that time too. We're going to have to explore the glacial area to check on its current status. Good luck, Dave. Okay. Oh, oh yeah, dear. A bunch of row. Okay, not that much row than I thought, actually, huh? That's a bit annoying, with the amount of <laughs> that we caught. Oh well. There's probably a limiter built in so that you don't get too many at once. Okay. Yep, yep, there's Kyoko again, Pai again, Yusuke again, and Tohoku. Not sure if we've seen them before. This thing wants attention again. And it wants not the lights off. Okay, uh, yeah, marine gun, glacial passage, there, 
on the right, right side it says second glacial cave. Oh, right, so it, 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 we all going to fight them. E yellowfish. Yep. Almost said E for some reason. This is very wrong. Okay, there was a question mark over the restaurant, so there's something going on. Yep. Hello, Vincent. Ooh. Hello everyone, this is Yui from NDC Station. We have a very guest we have a very special guest today. As far as we know, our guest in an ill-fated relationship with Bond Show was a has been I mean legendary actress. Oh hello. Oh, no. Luigi. Excuse me, the name is Lois. Long time no see, Boncho. The last time I saw you, you owned a restaurant at a five-star hotel. Not this kind of shabby restaurant. Uh, this sabotaging bitch. Shark dishes didn't sell well or something? <laughs> She's rude. Is she the restaurant critic who defamed you? You heard the stories from Ms. Yoshi? Right, that's she. What brought you to a lowly place like this? I thought you review only prestigious rest restaurants. Well, my pre uh, previous review of your restaurant it became a thorn in my sides. Oh. My reputation suffered from comments saying I was a closed-minded, disqualified as a taster, etc., etc. Okay, so people act people who knew Boncho's cooking called her out on her bullshit. Good. Oh. And my career as a restaurant critic has declined since then. Oh. Yeah. Well, because you served me a disgusting di dish. No, because you treated, you didn't try a dish and judged it just on how it looked. She tried to make a comeback in movies, but it didn't go well either. Picato. Castro? No need of, to speak of that. Castro is so of Italy. <laughs> Let me introduce Pastro Anto Giavani. I think I got that right. I brought him from Italy to teach you what culinary elegance really means. Yes. Uh, so you're just out here for vengeance, not actually a review or anything like that. Very good start on a quote-unquote review. Just throw the bitch in the sea. Ciao, uh, yeah, amico. I've heard a lot about you. An oddball of a chef who uses strange ingredients to draw attention. Oh. Not draw attention, draw out the best in those ingredients. You are just a showman and I will uh, prove that today. Why do chefs and cooks stick to certain ingredients? Because they are time-tested and proven. And if you only stick to that, you will end up just rehousing the same thing over and over again. Mm. Replacing time-tested ingredients arbitrarily doesn't make a good dish. Your dishes are disgusting, he says, without even having tried or seen one. Mm. So yeah, just two prejudiced jackasses look out to destroy a restaurant, not actually be a yeah, constructive critic or anything. I will show you. Uh, you will uh, learn why Italian cuisine has led the world for centuries. Ooh, drama from the past. I can't wait to see how it, how it will develop. Well, today's theme is... Pasta. Why does the subject always benefit the challenger? A clash between two maestros. Let's find out whom Vincent will choose. Uh, in a way, it does make sense to make the challenger have a little edge. But yeah, it's still a, it's still a nuisance, to say the least. As always, the contest will begin in two days. We will meet here in two days. Stay tuned of what uh, transpired today in today's Challenge the Chef. Yeah, they're... they're why do I get the feeling they're going to try and sabotage us? Pasta? Isn't that it's one it isn't yeah, isn't it too one-sided? That the challenge chef is definitely an advantage. I saw this show on TV and found out that one of the sponsors of this show was the BNC Company. Mm. BNC Company? The famous restaurant franchise? The restaurants are all good, so what is the problem? Mm. Of course, they serve good food, use fresh ingredients as well, but... But... The letter C in B and C represents Crawford. That's the problem. What? It low it's Lois Crawford's company? It's her family business, to be exact. And she will one day inherit it. And of course, the moment she would, she would absolutely... Yeah, use everything she could to sabotage Banjo. I see. 
That is, yeah, that's why she's quite knowledgeable in cooking for an actress. I bet she wanted to get back at you using the show. Quite possible. Still, all she can do is select the contest theme. After all, it's Vin uh, Vincent's call that matters in the end. His palate doesn't lie. I have a chance to win if I'm well prepared. I will cook squid and shrimp this time. Bring me some humble squids, white shrimp, and garlic. We should have all of those. Humble squids are nocturnal predators. Oh, you need to dive at night to hunt them. I see. Don't we have the? I think we have a few of those. Hmm. This uh, contest will not be easy for bunch of. Let's yeah, see. More... Yep. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. We had we had we had the list for one. Uh, they were the ones that tried to attack you a few times. Yeah. The, <laughs> the ones that were trying to emulate face huggers. Okay, let's have a look. Details. Hmm. Yeah, it doesn't say. Okay, we can look in the manager's app here to see how much. What? That's what gives you a horrible mental image. <laughs> and okay. squids going face hugger. Now I imagine squids bursting out of people's chests. Okay, we can see how much it costs per day to run at our current level, or at least the previous day's level. But we can't. We don't get a dissection of that. We don't see how much each of these costs to well have on board. So, uh, yeah, I'd like to, uh, if there would be one quality of life thing I would call or ask for now would be well, to have a more dissected costs and uh, such. So that you can see how well each of these perform or how expensive they are to keep going at the moment. Yeah. Unless the costs are running on something else. I very much doubt that we get... Uh, I very much doubt that the the costs only go up whenever we level up. Now, let's see. <clears throat> well, if you give them training, they probably will want more pay. True. Let's see. Fried right, tomato and snail fish. Nine servings. Okay. Mm. Okay. Uh, let's see, last time we got 30 plus, almost 40 people, so let's go for 40 dishes. Uh, we don't have enough to upgrade that. Wait, wait, but what we do we have see? enough. Hmm? Uh, rice is what we're low on with that. We don't need to upgrade the rice field, don't we? Uh, yeah, we, we should probably put a good amount of money into the farms. Let's see. Let's do one serving of, or one cutting of that. Then, let's see. Uh, yeah, let's uh, do two there. That is, let's see, 20, <clears throat> 25 dishes, so 15 more. And we are already down the water without realizing it. Some of that. These are one each. We can enhance that for some. Now let's see. 15, 25, 29. We need 11 more things. Uh, yeah, let's upgrade that. Okay, oh dear. now we just need three more things. Uh, let's see, these are all one each. Let's upgrade that once. There. Now we have 17, uh, 21, 31, 37, Wait, 15, 25, 29, 
29, 30, 41, 46. Okay, a bit much, but oh well. Uh, before anything else, let's take a look at the people here. Kyoko. Uh, no, not higher yet. Yeah, serve drink and always get tips. And we have Pi, who we saw last time. They are a mixed cook and server. Yosuke, straight up cook, but also really good procurer. Okay. And you, you are just a straight up cook, but also high in appeal. It doesn't make too much sense since I thought appeal was for tips when serving. Yeah, but hmm. I, like they have a chance to get the tip, but they're probably very slow in serving. Yeah. So that's a bit of a trade off. Okay, so we're just going to discard all of them. Uh, it, the, it, it, the ideal server would probably be serving with appeal being high. Yeah. Let's see, everyone has their stats. Uh, 25 is upgrade with that. Yep. Let's train Maki. Uh, and let's train Nino. Or El Nino. El Nino. There we go. Okay, and open the floodgates. You're in a... Wait, are there floodgates in Amsterdam and Netherlands? Uh, I do think so. Okay, that came up a bit weird. Okay. Let's keep that topped up. Yeah, cooking is... The chefs are keeping along. Okay, good enough. They're just zooming around, huh? Okay. Yeah, I think upgrading Nino is our best bet at the moment, since that also seems to speed him up with cleaning and such. I've only seen a... I've only seen a... one or two... Lines go, or orders go into the reds. Hey, I just realized something. Mm -hmm. I didn't hold the full, full critics to do the thing nowadays, since now everyone can post like these guys here on sites. Mm. For, normally, full critics did that job for the posted on paper and all. But if people want to know if it's a good restaurant, they just check the restaurant's page or cooks there, in this case. Yeah, that'll help, but professional uh, professional reviews will have more of a weight. Unless, of course, the reviewer has a bad reputation. Yeah, and, and especially you see huge discrepancies. Yeah. Like, There's also the fact that you still need professional reviewers or professional critics for... Uh, <clears throat> Michelin stars and such. Alright. But, even, but I don't feel like uh, pro critics probably have a bit more to think about. Like, they should not behave like her. Yeah. For we did, we did see what happened because of what she did. Yeah. That was a good example of what can happen if they become too power hungry. Uh, more arrogant, just straight up. Okay. Let's see. The popping flavor encapsulates the meat. Okay. That was the only new big new big one. Okay. Uh, I think we're out of cat foods, but let's double check. And let's see. 
I think we could buy some stuff from... Uh... Ah, we're out. Yep. Sorry, little guy. At least you know, up C. Uh, I thought we could buy fragments, uh, some things somewhere. Oh, yeah. What do you think? Neat, right? Nope. Trade a egg, some good eggs, or normal eggs. Okay. And we can harvest the rice. Nope. Uh, we can harvest the rice later today, okay? Uh, you have something to talk about? Oh. Yeah. No, yeah. You have something new in the shop. Okay, expand field number three. No. Yeah, if, actually, we could have bought some Bray Day eggs to put out Klaus's omelette on uh, Shark yeah, Day. I oh, almost well. knew about that. I almost knew, can't we just pick up or buy them? But you said no, no. I, I've forgotten. Get rid of that. Okay. Uh... Yeah, once, once we've... Once we've had our cucumber crops, we're going to leave this fallow for a bit, so the the bar can go back up. We probably should do the same with the rice fields. Yeah, what no, would it cost to upgrade the rice field again? I think it said seven thousand. Uh, we can afford that easily. Yeah, but do we want to afford it? Seeing with the other upgrades that we need. Uh, uh, right. I'm straight up going to get this one. 800 meters. Oh, that, yeah. that maxes out immediately. Okay. All right, that, that's kind of good. Oh, yeah. It did say we need more rice. And to get more rice, you need a bigger rice field. Let's see. Yeah, expand the rice okay. paddy. Yep. Uh, ta -ta -ta. My wonderful rice field. Rice field expanded. Yeah, it's, I couldn't read the rest of the achievement. For some reason, it popped up in the corner of my desktop again. I just do not get that. Okay. Hmm. Also, just an idea. There. No, no, mm. no, you need to f do it fully and properly. Uh, oh, wait, with an EMP. Mm. Probably not, since we are limited at 10 letters. There. Oh, yeah, it, it may fit, but you would need to remove that the uh, underlines the thingy. There. I just hope I counted this right. Yep, damn it. Uh, where did it go? There. Okay. There. I wanted to do un undo one, but instead I ended up act going out of it completely. There. Okay. And uh, I counted right. <laughs> oh no. Okay. Anyone else? Uh, Durvin Lord. Have we already named one of the Glacier Boy? If not, then by. With this, let's see, would that fit? Yeah, that would just about fit. Okay. Hmm. <clears throat> All right then. Mm, fish farm. I should probably, yeah, with the shallow ones, I should probably sell most of them. Okay. Uh, yeah, with these we just have so freaking many. Nope. 
there. There. Okay, we don't have double of the Titan trigger fish, okay. Barrel jellyfish. Starry puffer. Rainbow wrasse. Yeah, yeah, we need one of those still, or another one of those. Lagoon trigger fish. Yellow back. Mako. We have plenty of comers. We got plenty of sea uh, goldies. Now, I don't think we're going to really need to upgrade here for a bit. Fucking oh, god. What? You can't call it them coomers! <laughs> okay, there. <laughs> there. Giant Travales. Yep. No, that, I did not mean to sell all of those, but oh well, we've still got a breeding pair. Let's... I probably should just get rid of all of the ones that aren't three stars, because I do get the feeling that they can only make more two stars. But I will. Okay. Red Dreams. Um... Yeah, it, it would be nice as well to s if we could see here how much of these we have in the kitchen already. But for now, I'm just going to presume that we have enough. There. And just get, yeah, some money that for upgrades and such. That's okay. Good amount of these. Uh, actually, with these, we do send them to the kitchen. Narvos, Narvos, swimming in the ocean, causing a commotion. This time I got it right. Okay. Uh, there. Oh, damn it. Now it's so stuck in my brain. <laughs> <laughs> Your own fault. There. Okay, send the kitchen, all of those. And that's all. Pelican eels still need to get a breeding pair. We just got a bunch of murrays here. Okay. Every day we have. Uh, what was it? Humboldt. Okay. Humboldt squid. Uh, that's all here. All that we can do on land, or at least above water. Let's see. Yeah, time to go into the deep then. Do we have... No, we don't have nets. Yeah, we can sell stuff to him, but we can't buy fragments or such. Hmm. Actually, let's see. Just send a bunch of these for a little bit more there and yeah now we can up now we can get that second bit from uh <clears throat> now we can get the third land or stretch of farmlands uh shop can we buy it so that he'll work on both at the same time <laughs> okay yeah okay he is just going to work on both of them Okay. Well, we are just 
basically out of money so if we do get a good hire with the, the internet ad we won't be able to get them but we can just hold off on that wait oh tomorrow is the vip thing yep okay since we are possibly facing a boss i'm picking the underwater rifle and moving this to the octopus weapon you know, charm okay uh yeah see people hmm we get the upgrade at Mimas, and yeah then we go possibly face a boss okay uh i forgot to see if we had enough fragments for the upgrades but oh well Would the melee damage also affect mining? Hmm. Unsure. I, yeah, and because it's unsure, I'll just not risk it. Yeah, and we all for hit for a boss fight after all. Yeah. Okay. Straight to the glacial passage, and we have that second ice cave to find. It's it one hundred and fifty years. One city a year and it's about low, right? Okay. Ignore the small fries. Ice gun? A gun that fires frost bullets. It can stack coldness to freeze targets and inflict significant damage when followed up with attacks from other weapons. Okay. Whoa, a bone chilling gun that can freeze anything. Shira runs down my spine. Okay. Hmm. Oh, that would be interesting. Miss Warner, does that mean anything we uh, can with it stays fresh? Maybe. Probably not, but it'd be worth a try to see if it does or not. Got this aquamarine down there. I'm going to focus more on going down. We're going to ignore that as well. Okay. We need to find the beluga somewhere down here as well. Wait, I I feel some heat coming up. I can't go further down. Um, I can't go down further now. Okay, so we need what? Okay. Very. Yeah, that's the Greenland Shark, and, well, it's going to be hostile if it spots us, which it does. Okay. Well, one thing that this it's does slow. means then... Yeah. One <laughs> thing this does mean now, though, is that the Beluga has to be somewhere above this line. And the cave probably as well. What's this? Topaz. Okay. Didn't you like that last or something? It's valuable at the absolute least. And this would oh, lead towards the... I thought we saw something in the scene or someone frozen in ice. <laughs> Let's break that down. Probably should have broken down the ice gun as well. I will. Three fragments. Mostly going to explore around this time. Black uh, Aquamarine down here. Yep. Oh, oh there, there's the beluga. Okay. What are you doing down here? Oh, a beluga. Why is it here? Uh, hello. Oh, is that an Ar Antarctic octopus? It's venomous. Maybe poisoned? Yep. Yeah, I get the feeling it's been poisoned then. 
That, of course, the. F Alec, why you little? I'm not letting you go. Stop there. The music chase. <laughs> Okay, bongos in the art. Oh, motherfucker. Get back here, you. It's going to hit that thing. I, my eye was on the stalactites, so I overlooked the spikes. Get here, you. Come here. So get my hands on you, I'm going to turn you into a dish. It's soy sauce and mayo. Yeah, corners. <sighs> I've cornered this one. It looks kind of pitiful up close. No, I can't be weak now. I will show it who's boss. Um. Yep, wait. <laughs> okay. I'm pretty sure this is a Bioshock reference now with Harvest and Rescue. So, yeah, we, we can get its venom while it's alive. Yep. Or I can just spit that out. Huh? What is this bottle? The octopus dropped it. Antidote, perhaps? I should go back to the beluga. Why would an octopus be carrying around? <laughs> okay. Interesting. Okay. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that was a reference to Bioshock. Where, uh, yeah, if you, if you, yeah, you could choose to either harvest or rescue the little sisters, and though harvesting would give you more, uh, I forget if it was Adam or Eve that was the currency or the upgrades currency. I think it was Adam. Not uh, of Adam? Yeah. Or something? And, yeah, and rescuing would give you less, but you would get bigger bonuses or big bonuses later on for rescuing a bunch of them. So in the end, uh, yeah, it is, uh, you actually get more if, and even if not more, you get equal to the same amount as harvesting if you rescue uh, little sisters. And I'd say that Bioshock is a... Pardon? I'd say that Bioshock is a series to put on our to stream list eventually as well. At the absolute, I want to do Bioshock 2, because typically people remember Bioshock 1 the most, but Bioshock 2 is also really good. You don't look well. Do you want to try this? We look better now. I'm relieved. Why don't you return to the village? You can get there alone, right? Okay, then the manatee can go back to tilling the fields instead of hauling ass. Now that I found a beluga, I should explore some more. Okay. Need some beluga done. Okay. A new boss. Hmm. Let's see. I'm going to guess that the second cave is going to be on the right side then, since we've seen the left side completely. Also, it looks to me that like this area doesn't have randomization, or at least a lot less. Like, where the items are placed and such is still random. But in this... The geology is less random. Perhaps you could say because it's frozen. So it's stuck. Oop. Take that. Careful, Lobo. Be clean, damn glasses. Be clean. Okay. We're going to dodge the narwhal. 
And we're going to check out the right side. Yeah, they ought to see. Okay, narwhals should be a bow. Hello. That's yeah. That's that should be the poor beagle, if I remember correctly. And we could probably take it on, but I want to focus more on exploring at the moment. Let's see. That was the sound of something spawning. I think. Or something making a big maneuver at the absolute least. I'll take that. Opals, more cat food. Oh. Yeah, coming out, you little bastards. Yep, and I completely miss, of course. Come back here, you. Okay. Now, what are you? Oh, oh, oh. hello there in chat. Uh, let's see, Venze Beverly. Hey, yo, what's up? <laughs> <laughs> uh, how would it go? Uh, pretty good, I'd say. Uh, Starry Skate. Okay. Uh, uh, let's see. Hmm? Alright, yeah, hello there, welcome. Are you going really so far here? Okay, uh, yeah, now, how are you doing, Venze, or Beverly, or however you want to prefer, uh, however you prefer to be called? And, yep, welcome to the stream. Uh, I'm Hillian, over there is my co host, Rakir, and hello. we're playing some uh, Dave the Diver. I just realized my signboard is missing. All right, I, I removed that since uh, I I thought with the string yesterday you weren't going to have uh, uh, you we weren't we, we were going to have to do without your uh, your representative on screen on screen. Okay. Hmm. Okay. We can't go down here then. Uh, let's see, so how's your day going? Pretty well, pretty lazy. Uh, nothing too big. That's, well, happens in either direction. So, yeah, just a just a chill day and a chill stream after. Yeah, I was thinking about a chill day, except for the summer returning. Yeah, that is definitely not <laughs> chill, because it's 30 freaking degrees Celsius in my room. Yeah. Okay. I uh, was mm -hmm. being chilling and relaxing. Actually, for the first time, watched uh, Mystery Science Doom or something it's called. Like the, the Mystery Science show Theater. Movie, old movies. Uh, uh, sorry, what? Mystery Science Theater. Oh. Uh, I need help. Yes. I need. I need oxygen. I need oxygen. We're getting out of here. I'm not picking a fight with low oxygen. Oh dear. But yeah, that's the one, Helium. And all right, let's say from Vinci. So where are you from? I'm from Sweden. Yeah, I'm from the Netherlands. Uh, actually, we can reload our oxygen over here, and then go back. And yeah, I, I think I'm going to try and pick a fight with the narwhal. Uh, and in turn, may we ask where you are from then? Uh, uh, He's a streamer. I'm his co-host. Yeah, that's just me. Okay. Yep, that refills our oxygen. Would be a bit of a bummer to go back up with only eight kilos of materials. Now, where? Wait, only three shots. Uh, all right, I already shot at something. Just need to find an ammo case then. Uh, how's the weather out there? Yeah, dry and hot. <laughs> Yeah, we had a nice foggy morning, I took walking, but then came sun and summer heat. Mm -hmm. Helen, I think you need a lightsaber, or another narwhal's tooth, a tusk. I think those are tusks. Oh, oh, oh. there. Just dodge that. Well, it, it is a rare sight to see in over with two grown tusks. Okay, back out again. Uh, where did you get those models? I made m mine myself with uh, 
Vivoid Studio. As for Drakiris, that's just a bit of a paint net uh, photoshopping, so to say. Yeah, it's not a lot of joke. Yeah, let's just call it with that. We've explored, we've progressed the main story a bit. We don't well, always need to get a full haul up. Plus, now th new things can spawn. Okay, ice gun, one of three needed. Keeping that around. Okay, topaz. No row from this, from that thing. The crops are grown. And of course, that little bastard wants attention. There. Let's some food, some snack, and a bit of discipline. Uh, then why haven't you made logo and banner? I, I do technically have a logo, but I not really impl really imp haven't really imp implemented it. Uh, as for banner, uh, yeah, I don't really fully feel like making one. I do know some people who I could ask to make one, uh, one <laughs> or uh, ones that would be a lot better than what I could slap together. Uh, let's see. That's everything. Okay. Ice gun. Okay. In here. Uh, up there. It has 27 thorns from the ventral to the dorsal fins. The thorns can also be found in the middle and sides, in both sides of its tail. Okay, nasty thing. Weedy sea dragon. Okay. And what do you want? Oh, you can hand that in. Okay. Sea people's artifacts? Okay. Dangerous gemstones, torbanites. Okay. I uh, can deliver that. Anything else to deliver? No. Okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, ta -ta -ta. By the way, I'm also a commission artist. Uh, no thanks, Vansy. Like, like I said, I already know some people, and I'd rather risk with uh, the risk. I'd rather work with people I'm familiar with. So, uh, thanks, but no thanks. Okay, let's see. The crops are grown. Hmm. Okay, raise up to five. Two. Okay, he's just still working. No. Cucumbers. I, I think before we had a few times where up there where we have three of each of these from a harvest. And the rice is ready. Okay. Let's harvest all of this and then let the earth rest a bit. Yeah, don't let you remove the weed. Yeah, we're going to have to leave this be for a bit. Actually, doesn't he regrow rice on his own or something? Yeah, I think he did. Oh yeah, I think mm. he automatically restarts. Oh well. Uh, sushi, so we can feed the cat. Uh, again, Ven say thanks, but no thanks. If you're going to keep pushing on that, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm going to have to kick you from the stream. There. Did he get foods? Okay. Uh, let's see. Anything special that we can put on the menu? Let's see. We should save all of the cucumber stuff. Anything to research? Travale sandwich. A cucumber is placed between the big eye Travale and the yellow thing in Jack. Generously cut. Now let's research that. Okay. I'm guessing for the next step in the story, we need to go down to the village. Uh, might as well get that. 
Hmm. It's, yeah, we can't really buy anything else. We don't have much special going on at the moment. So we've got a bit of a dry spell. Like, we've got everything we need for the VIP, for the event. Actually, on that, let me... Can we check the recipes from here? I hope I don't so. don't think so. Uh, let's see. We can see... Okay, we can see what's recipes we could serve uh, let's see there's a sort of let's go by price and what are the priciest see uh, yeah cucumber recipes that we have at the moment spider crab okay well never have reason to hunt spider crab beside the quest that requires us to hunt them yeah then there's just sea toads and just plain skewered cucumbers Rivale. Okay, we could make some good money with that. On some more big eyes. Uh, let's see. Yeah. Okay, and yeah. On the chatty program, I can see that uh, Vensei just departed. They were just here to aff themselves. I'm going to need to change that in the uh, text pop-up or the chat pop-up. So, like, no unprompted self-advertising. Yeah, uh, like... Most second. artists I know, they want to self-advertise on their own pages, so they don't go to other people's stream to do that. It's... It's, it's annoying and rude. And yeah. trying to just wrap it up in a nice... in a bow, to make it seem like just having con casual conversation, just it just makes you seem deceptive and going and fishy. about it like that <laughs> literally fishy going about it like that is not going to give you you know customers it's going to give give you a reputation of, of a sneak and then nobody will want to work with you so yeah, yeah. if you have a paid you pay to something on like deviant art or another art site then you can promote there say you're open for commissions and such but going to someone else's stream to do it? No. Yeah. Okay. Let's go check at the palace. Props are all... Okay. Beluga is back. And I think I just made a bit of a realization with one with a certain Pokemon's name. Lugia. If you pull out the eye uh, and put B4, you basically get Beluga. I think, if I'm not messing things up. <laughs> Is Beluga a like water psychic or something? Uh, yeah, I think. Where did it go? Or was it. F I forget what its type is. I think it's changed a few times, or I'm not sure. But I do think it is psychic and something else. Hmm. Uh, what happened, Gumo? Uh, Manatee's baby. It just suddenly disappeared. Uh oh, that is a big problem. Manatee's mom is also worried. Things are getting out of hand. You have any ideas? Maybe it saw the beluga and went to the glacial area? It's kind of a suspicious place. I'll go check it out. Uh, oh, thank you, human. I will be waiting. Can. Can't they just close the damn door so that nobody goes sneaking out? Like, I'm pretty sure one of the kids is going to sneak out next. And yeah, these just grow at different rates. Okay. So there's no real... Uh, yeah, you can't really plan these out to all be harvested on the same day. You could wait and let them... And just harvest them all on the, at the same time. But then you'd kind of be wasting a little bit of time. The emphasis would be there. A little bit of time. Okay. Uh, I do think we have... I do think we have... Yep, we have a seahorse with us. So let's just dismount. I've got my fan turned up on the higher settings, and it's kind of messing with the little cloth I use to rest my arm on. 
Because if I have it resting on the table, when it's hot, then yeah, just salt is going to build up there and be, <laughs> be a nuisance eventually. Okay. There. Okay. Uh, there, okay. Uh, how much time? 20 minutes. Okay. Well, we we'll still make some... Working. Okay, I'm turning the fan down. It's, it's moving things around. <laughs> okay. Register this little guy. 80. Not as fast as our showrunner at the moment. Okay. Speaking of... Let's see. 87, 100 and... Okay, yeah, we're not going to beat that unless ours is in an amazing mood. Nope. Okay, uh... Hmm. What we can do is kind of cheat a bit with this. Putting in these two, and then we just put in the big boys. <laughs> just kind of run those. Oh, dear. Let's see the more outclass. This one is not good with acceleration, but they are good with speed. Up too early. Up too high. There's no chance, even with the two uh, higher tiered ones. <laughs> Zoom! <laughs> Bonk. Yeah, th these are just real freaking speedy like this, huh? Yeah, holy! It, it, it's the... There's the fact that I need to keep my eye on the bar, otherwise I would be keep keeping an eye. I would look at the mini map to see how far ahead we are. But I buy a lot, I'm presuming. There we go. Oh. Come on, straighten this dumb thing out so it's not a nuisance on my arm. Go. Okay. Now then. Get out of here. Yep. Okay. I hope we don't I hope this chapter or the rest of the chapter isn't going to be go go rescue more and more things from the glacial zone because people can't put a a kitty lock on the door or something. Okay. Uh, yeah, we'll just look for the manatee, get back here, and then probably go up uh, out the entrance. Oh, wrong thing. I need to get to the, the to the mirror for actual fast travel. And yeah, on the way up, we're going to look for spider crabs and sea toads for the cucumber recipes. Okay. All right. No. Should, hmm, should we, uh, have you been on the area? You could have gone for some more spider crabs. In our wall. You need to see them aggressive and sense. Short. That was just a plain miss. They want to avoid people as much as possible. It has made them very hard to research. Do you want there? Ow. Okay, six bullets of 40 damage each. Two were misses. So yeah, that's 240 health about. Hello there. Another racer. 
Okay, poison tip. No. Where? Oh, this crying sound is. I should go with the you know, to where the crying sound is coming from. Okay. I was just about to say we need to go find the manatee calf. But I would not be surprised. <laughs> we got close enough. Yeah. I would not be surprised if this one leads us to a boss fight. That's a good thing I've got the gun. Go. Ice fish. Actually, I think I'll just leave the, the fish alone for the moment. Since it's rather annoying to have to harpoon them multiple times. Okay, that'll be handy if this is going into a boss fight. Yeah, hello. Okay, there must be a reason that these are here. Guessing it's trapped. Mm -hmm. There is a sound coming from here. It looks like the entrance was blocked after the baby went in. Maybe I can break it if I drop something heavy. Ah, there it is. Okay, knock knock. Oh, need multiple. Go. Get back. Okay, I'll let it go. Or not. Okay, if you're going to come back. If you're that certain. Here we go, just enough. Okay. Is two going to be enough, or do we need the other ones above? Yep, other two. Okay. This is going to be a boss fight. Yep. Okay, so we did need all four of them. All right, it's open. Let's go inside. Let's go. I probably should have used something to refill my oxygen, but oh well. We have the canister, and there's probably going to be at least one source around here. And yeah, this totally looks like it's going to be an arena. Or not. Okay. Hmm. Okay, where's the calf? There's the calf. There's a man. Yeah, there's a baby manatee in there. It looks scared. We need to calm it down. Okay, time for another uh, how to train your dragon moment. Okay, is that supposed to just signify its moods, or is it actually hurt? Hmm. I'll have to closely watch his reaction while petting him. Let's try again. Wait, wait. Uh, Just okay. 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 Exactly what it signifies. Okay. Once head drops. You're the one moving the wood. There we go. Okay, it's calmed down a bit. Shall we head out? Okay, another ex ex escort moment. Oh, oh come on! A narwhal came through the opening? I don't take care of it, the baby manatee won't come out. Okay, well, forced fight with one of these. It... Yep. 
Uh, okay, I'll hit it with that to just weaken it. Ooh. I'll leave that be for a moment. Ow. There we go. Phew, so we head out. Okay, that got a little bit close. Okay, anything good in here? Nope. I'll take that. A mark yeah, two, uh, level two. Wait, wait, wait. Don't forget the normal. Yep. The drone can't get in here. There we go. You don't get the horn as an upgrade. Oh, oh come on! Yeah, there's a shark in here too. I think I'm going to have to take out the take the shark down to get out of here. Okay. At least this should be less annoying because they don't swipe as widely. Like they're bigger, but their movements are more predictable. Here we go. Okay. Oh. I always think they to be tanker, but no. And there we go. I'll break it down. Level 3 sniper, okay. More damage, but less bullets. And more range, of course, but... I think the... Uh, I think our underwater rifle will do for the moment. Okay. Do you know how to get back? Get back safely to the village. Dave the Manatee Whisperer. I think that's the title already. Okay. Let's head back as well. We're running a bit low on time. Uh, yeah, we'll have to hunt spider crabs another time then. In sea toads. Hold on, what's that? Ah, just more bullets. Okay. Can afford to rush a little bit, since we're close anyways. But yeah, I think with the harpoon, since that since that's maxed out, we are kind of at the <clears throat> we're kind of at the point where it's up. if we want to hunt a bunch of fish down here, it's better to use the net gun since it's a lot easier to just get them with that in one shot instead of having to, like, stab them seven times or so with the harpoon. Exaggerated, but yeah. still. <clears throat> okay. I do wonder how we're going to find the next cave then, because it looks like it's going to be in the warm area. So we are going to need another suit upgrade for that. Or at least something to block the heat, since we've got our suit maxed out. Afraid to get back safe. It went all by itself to the glacial area. Children, whether human or animal, are full of curiosity. I'm glad to see the mom is now at ease also. Human, you really have a good you know, sense of smell. I, well, I didn't actually find it with my nose. Well, anyway, here's something for my gratitude. Some seeds and some money. Okay. Hmm. Okay, when... When are we going to make progress in the story, then? Because we don't have a main story at the moment. So, but we've got... Well, we've got main story here, but not in the uh, the Sea People saga, so to say. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. I say we go topside with what we have. We do another round. We do another night at the restaurant. Actually, no. If there was uh, anything to get here, that'd be exclamation park points on the map. So. 
They aren't going to be giving us something inside. Okay. <clears throat> Not the best in terms of, uh, yeah, hunting, but still some progress. Yeah. Okay. We're keeping that. Yep, yep. I probably just could have handed it over there, but oh well. Yep, narwhal meats, four beagle shark meats. Okay. Yeah. Oop, those, <laughs> those three again, and Yone. They're new, I think. Uh, you, we had Yone before. All right. But she is good at procuring. Have yeah, we seen them before? Pop up, I think. Yep. Okay. We have what we need for tomorrow. I, I'm guessing if we don't manage to get the ingredients for a VIP day or something, that we just get reset to the uh, start of the day or something to try again. Okay. Uh, let's see. How was things yesterday? I got 36 likes, so again, we're going to aim for 40 dishes on the menu. Low and cool trout for that. Uh, let's see, if we do that, that's 24 already. Let's go with that. 25 with a bit, one extra. Uh, let's see, big ice cat is needed for one of these, I believe. Spider crab, sea toads. No, Big Eye Trevale, is it? Okay. Now let's do some of that. It's 37. Now we just need a little bit more. And we can do that with some... Five of these. Oh uh, yeah, 27. No, that's... Now it's 30, 37. And that's 42. Okay. Okay, I'm going to start skipping those if we do get them multiple times, if the same one. Okay. Yeah, spider crab, sea toads. Let's see. Uh, let's put two of those up as well just in case we get more than 40 people uh, staff higher let's see we've already nope already seen you we've seen you we've seen you what are your skills okay cooking and ingredient prepping okay i'm very good at procuring bloody high cookie skill there if we do want to get a replacement cook, we want someone who also has the uh, drinks master thing. So, let's take a look through this to get all of these tagged off. Um, okay. And let's open up. We are getting closer and closer to the 720 likes needed. Okay, you know, immediately jumping to work. I was going to stay parked at this thing. Okay. Yep. 30 dishes. Uh, Nino has them. I'll take care of this one here. A lot of slobs today, it seems. Okay. There. Nina's going to rush to that. Yep. There. Okay, wait, is Nino? Okay, I think Nino is skipping those. Well, 
can he not do the cocktails then? An extra good that we got Raptor so early on. Okay. Okay, still overestimated the amount of people who showed up, but still covered most of everything. 36, yeah. Okay, I think we will be good with sticking with 40 people for the moment, or 40 dishes. 16k. All right. <clears throat> the game is taking longer to load on these bits. I'm curious why. Okay. Oop. I have to enter the cave with an outflowing current to turn on the second control room switch. Okay, this is a bit out of nowhere. Is there any way to exit enter the cave? The current way the current may be weaker today. I should go check. Okay. Oh. Okay, new product stock this stocks this time with him. Yep. Level up on this thing. Okay. Discipline. And then we feed. And then we snack. And yeah. Uh, yeah. Let's just do this so I don't forget for next time at least. Though I probably will start ignoring this thing at some point. Okay. Yeah, I don't uh, see the point of this thing. Let's see, we've got some weeds, we've got cucumbers growing. Something to upgrade? Rifle? Oh, okay, we've got enough to upgrade to level to the Mark III rifle. So... There we will! Yeah, there we go. Now we will also see what we need for the last one. Yes, equip that, and let's see. Okay, an opal tube and 25 topaz. Okay, well, chance for instant kill 30% does not apply to bosses. Okay, and 80 damage per round with a magazine of 13. Have... Yeah, that is definitely. <laughs> we already have mantis shrimp tail. Yep. Okay. Uh, uh, we only need to always get the tube and more topaz and be good. And the opal too, we can just outright buy. And yeah, the topaz we'll need to find. But that shouldn't be too hard. Okay. Yeah. Uh, wait, more? Or is that for... What are you... Okay, I don't know what was still tagged as new with that, but oh well. Uh, let's see, net gun. Yeah, we're going... Uh, wait. Okay, we have a large net gun already. We need pelican eel skin for this and steel rope. And also topaz. Okay. Uh, ta -ta -ta. Increase the number of targets as well as the rank. Okay. The tranquilizer we can gun. Buy, but pelican eel skin. Oh dear, that can be a bit uh, annoying. Yeah, we'll need... For that, we'd probably need to use the hush dart and just go in and out of the glacial passage, hoping that more pelican eels will spawn. I, I don't actually know if more can spawn if we exit an area and go back in or something. But for now... Save... Chapter 6, Chapter 6, Chapter 4, so overwrite that. Okay. Uh, I'm actually going to not... I'm actually not going to go to the title main titles yet because I'm going to go to the fish farm with this and just make a note or more a better note of all the fish that we need breeding pairs of still so I can have so I have something better than just the, the inside of a <coughs> a paper or a cardboard uh, gum wrapper uh, to note that by okay I'm not going to sell fish though or send them to the kitchen. So we can start here next time. For now though, let's go over here and look for someone to raid before we end the stream. Sure. So, uh, Twitch, change the screen share. Da -da -da -da. Twitch, go live. 
and let's see there's a bunch of people online we have cider delish with chrono trigger uh, nico and lil tree are doing art uh, yasuke mitsuki tweety is streaming phasmophobia Theory Pop is streaming Starfield. I'm Nice is playing Final Fantasy XIV, but we rated them recently already. Coverdust is playing Sea of Thieves. The Digital Hazard is playing Digimon World 2. WBPL is streaming Baldur's Gate 3. Oh, Touch Scaly Tail and Witch of the Cat. Uh, Dio Mothi and Hunst uh, Arts are streaming Core Keeper. Koskari is doing a read along, apparently. Okay. And last but not least, we have Halloween, who is playing Blasphemous 2. And if those are of interest, or should we look for someone else? Good question. Uh, I'm gonna have to see. Kikoski has started to appear for a short while on my recommendation on YouTube. Okay. So I guess uh, they are also YouTubers. But yeah, let's see. What, what do we have? Uh, everything is me. Yeah, the. the the browser is muted. We've got someone playing Signalis. The Muk VT. Iggy Maid is playing Baldur's Gate 2, Shadows of Arm. Flix Gaming Stuff is streaming Starfield. There's someone just chatting. Abby Alien is also streaming Starfield. And Matt Orloff is streaming Resident Evil 2. Is that the new or the old? Uh, this, yeah, this is the new. Okay. <clears throat> Any of those, mm -hmm. or shall I pick? I will let you pick, for it is getting harder and harder. Okay, let's go raid uh, touch, uh, Touchy Tail then. Uh, uh, okay. the there we go. Slash raid and paste. But before we start that, of course, thank you everyone else for watching. No, 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 that's too early. The uh, wait, uh, yeah. Thank you everyone who has been watching now or later. Uh, yeah. Let's see. Thank you, Pizza Lover, for showing up for a bit. Uh, yeah, I, I, I thank Benze Beverly if it wasn't that they just showed up only to add themselves. Like, seriously, do not do that. It's rude. It's stupid. And it's only going to work, well, in the opposite way of what you want. So, yeah. Still, thank you for showing for a bit, but don't add yourself. <clears throat> and of course, as always, thank you, Drakir. You're welcome as always, my friend. And yeah, with that, let's start the raids. Okay, no block. And yeah, uh, today was just a bit of an ex a catch up stream since we did uh, unscheduled or we we did we did a Minecraft stream with Tatum and Shaskor yesterday instead of Dave the Diver. Uh, I, I asked if the others would be up for a multiplayer stream today, but not available. So instead, well, a catch up of Dave the Diver. And more Dave the Diver tomorrow. So, uh, yeah, for now, thank you all again for watching. And until next time, have a nice day. And until then, be safe, everyone, and watch out for hunted seagulls. And sharks. And sharks. And rotten socks. <laughs> <laughs>